Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about another issue that Windows uh, 24H2, Windows 11 24H2 update has been causing on Windows operating system, right? So if you have seen maybe the recent video we did talking about some of the crashes or the blue, blue screen of death, they call it BSOD, that was occurring because of the Windows 24H2 update during gaming. Well, we got another issue, separate issue, but same update, right? So this is something users might have been experiencing. And so I wanted to make this video because I do know uh, we have some gamers out there and there are a lot of gamers out there on YouTube, always looking up issues. And so because of that, I want to talk to to you all about the audio issue recently that Microsoft announced back in November that was occurring because of that Windows 11 24H2 update. So while you were gaming, you may have experienced your audio going to full blast just out of nowhere, uh, really random, right? So if you were using like external speakers, um, USB, it was USB DAC sound systems or USB DAC systems, sound systems that were primarily causing the issue, but unexpectedly out of nowhere, your volume might just shoot up to like 100% be full volume out of nowhere. So if somebody, anybody who's experiencing that out there, uh, that would explain that. So in those other videos, I know we had a ton of comments, weird stuff that was going on on uh, people's computers with um, mostly the Windows 11, especially with the recent updates like the Windows 11 24H2 updates and some of the recent like NVIDIA graphics driver updates that have been going in. Uh, there's been like a lot of crashing. I've experienced uh, some of the issues myself, for example, um, when I was, I was trying to play Halo um, recently and that one was crashing. So what I did was I uninstalled my graphics drivers and reinstalled them. So that's something you can always try. If you're having issues out there, I see a lot of comments. Try to get to those as much as we can. But I saw a lot of comments on that video specifically asking about what to do in the event of things like crashing. Um, you can always do a reinstall of your operating system. Make sure you back up all your data first, right? You don't want to lose anything. Uh, so back up all your data and then you could reinstall the Windows operating system and see if that helps. But then once you do that, you also need to make sure that all your other driver updates are updated, right? In the last video, we were talking about printers. We talked about how that software allows the, um, you know, devices to communicate. Same thing with your graphics card for your graphics card to be able to properly communicate with the other hardware on your computer and make everything run smoothly and also run the software or the games, the programs, right? They're actually running. Um, it needs to be, it's, it needs to have updated graphics drivers. They usually add in features, that are going to um, not not only graphics drivers, but chipset drivers, audio drivers across the board, right? Because like in this case, probably a lot of people uninstalled their audio drivers and then reinstalled them thinking that would fix the issue. But uh, this is just something that was actually a Windows update issue rather than the actual graphics drivers or the audio drivers or anything like that. So um, but you do want to make sure those are up to date because as I was saying, they are very important for everything to be able to communicate properly. And then run applications properly. If you want, uh, if you want games to be able to run um, on your on your computer success or uh, correctly, a lot of times they need those new features, especially if they're newer games. Older games obviously might not require those those updates, but newer games, if you're trying to play them, uh, which is mostly what was targeted in, in this, uh, you know, as as far as who was affected, it was people playing uh, newer games, right? So they'd be playing a newer game, AAA title, for example. Um, some of the newer newer games and online shooters and things like that, and the audio would spike up to 100%. So probably scared a lot of people. I'm sure that was probably really strange. Um, probably a lot of people might have thought they were getting hacked or something weird was going on or their computer was was going haywire. Audio, again, audio drivers, uh, not going to fix it if, if that was something you had tried. So this is just something that I thought everybody should know. Uh, if you want to check out the article on that, they actually have a full article over at Bleeping Computers. Uh, that that is a really nice article kind of lays out everything and talks about the issue and again uh, this is something that microsoft has confirmed and and they, they made the announcement so we know it's real uh, we know it's actually happening and that's that's okay hopefully they work out the bugs and the kinks behind that again it was mostly a specific group uh, usb dac sound systems again if that was something that you're running you might have experienced that so if so Comment down below again on the other video. I tried to get to as many comments as we can. We're not necessarily a video, uh, a video game channel. We don't necessarily focus on that. Um, but anytime that there's an issue with Windows, uh, which is definitely something that we troubleshoot, I'll talk about it in case it's causing, uh, you know, Windows updates are causing weird issues. 
across the board for other programs. So 24H2 has been a weird one for a lot of other things too, not just gaming, but uh, causes causing issues um, with other things too. So hopefully over time we see Microsoft fix that up and get back on track and, and who knows, maybe they'll push another update soon and, and it'll, it'll cause different issues, but fix these other ones. So uh, we'll wait for that. So thank you everyone. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe below. And again, throw some comments down there. We try to get to as many of those as we can. Um, like I said, on the other one, we just can't always recommend exactly what to do full, full time without getting on the system and knowing that's another thing I want to mention. So if you're not getting a comment back, it might just be because it's hard to know. Um, and we, we don't have time to always post the specs, but that's why we have the number at the beginning and the end of the video. So if you're having issues with gaming or anything on the windows operating system, Mac operating system, or your cell phones, give us a call. We'll help you out. Thank you everyone. And see you on the next one.